August of 2000, and my parents basically signed me up for this summer kayaking camp to kind of get rid of me for the last couple uh, days of the summer. Right off the bat, I, I really liked it. The interesting thing, too, was in that um, out of the six of us, there's three of us that are actually still competing. It's time now to kind of move up to that next level from nationally to internationally, and I'd like to kind of make that transition. I started around eight years old, but I started racing around 14. When we were teenagers, my dad used to take us down like the whitewater section of the Ottawa. Ottawa is one of the best parts of the world because people come from all over the world to paddle the whitewater section of the Ottawa, the whitewater section of the Anno. I've been with the Ottawa River Runners probably for about five years now. I really like just going out on a day on the river. Slalom is a lot of fun, just trying your best to do the gates in every different course. It's a new puzzle. Canada is probably one of the least developed slalom racing countries that are competing on the international stage. We don't have the same number of slalom paddlers, and I think that has to do in that we don't have the number of whitewater courses. The um, whitewater courses we do have are not in urban areas. That is why the pump house is so important and it is the best training center in Canada. The next largest training group in Canada is based out of Calgary. The whitewater course they train on is it's, it's a 45 minute drive. The pump house is unique in that way where it's actually it's in a urban center where there's universities that the athletes can train full time while going to school. We run our summer camps at the pump house. The pump house is, is a safe venue for them to go to and, and learn the basics of whitewater paddling. And what's cool about it is at the same time we have our national team athletes are training on the same piece of whitewater. Basically a slalom course is this series of gates and the gates are hung from wires above the river and the gates are positioned in ways that will challenge the paddlers to, to get down the river. We train about six days a week and most days we're doing two sessions. So either one on the water and one at the gym or two in the water. We do about you know a dozen sessions a week. And I find like when I'm on the water paddling by myself, I sort of I can get into this zone, this flow that I can't really find in any other part of my life. I just want to get better and get faster. It's, it's really it's just just you and the river and the gate.